Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2 of my Daishokan video. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, which I, re which I reviewed the convention, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. So in part 2 of this video, I'm going to go over my autograph haul. I ended up getting autographs from 4 of the guests at the convention, so let's get started. So the first voice actors I met at the convention were Grant George and Jessica G. George. They're known as the Dynamic Duo, and they're really, really funny people. I've been to their panel, and boy, were they, they, were they hilarious. Um, I asked uh, Grant and Jessica George their, about their experience in Danganronpa. Um, Jessica said that uh, originally for Sakura, that they were originally going to get a, a guy to voice Sakura because of how masculine Sakura was. So I had a really, really fun time at the panel. So, with that being said, the first thing I got signed by Grant George was my copy of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. He was Leon. And um, I was originally going to get uh, Jessica to sign this, but I didn't have enough time for her to sign this copy. But I did get something else signed by her, which I'll show it to you later. The next thing I got signed by Grant George was my copy of Persona 3 FES. He was Shinjiro in the game. And when I got this signed, um, I also saw a, a uh, cosplayer dressed up as the female main protagonist in the, from Persona 3. And I thought that was an amazing cosplay. <laughs> I've, I was just so bummed I wasn't able to take a picture of it. It was a really, really good female protagonist cosplay. And she was able to get a picture with Grant because of, of, the, of the one thing in Persona 3 Portable where you can actually get a, uh, a romantic, romantic link with uh, Shinjiro. So that's it for Grand Jessica George, let's move on to Texas. So the next voice actors I met at Daishokan were Colleen Clinkenbeard and Jamie Markey, the Texas voice actors. And these are probably the most well-known Texas voice actors in the anime industry. Um, Colin Clinkenbeard did several m big roles such as Luffy in One Piece, uh, Gohan, and several others. And Jimmy Markey is known to voice over 200 different anime characters. Um, she's also in the, I think she's like number two or maybe even number one in Behind the Voice Actors in, in terms of views. She's, she's, getting, she's voicing so many characters. So, so for Colleen, um, it was a really fun experience asking her a question regarding Steins Gate. Um, within the past two months, I met J. Michael Tatum and Trina Nishimura, and they said they had a really fun time voicing the, their characters in Steins Gate and how emotional it was. And I asked Colleen a question about her experience being the ADR director, and she said she really, really enjoyed it. So it was an honor to ask her a question like that. So for Jimmy Markey, um, the, the big thing that um, a lot of people asked Jimmy Markey was about panty and stocking. <laughs> I remember Juan asking me, asking Jimmy Markey a, a lot of questions regarding that. So much that I actually bought a copy of Panny and Stocking right after the convention. So thanks to Jamie and Juan for recommending me this anime, so I can't wait to watch this. So let's go over, go over the autographs I got from Colleen and Jamie. So um, most of the stuff I got signed by Colleen and Jamie, they both signed together. There were only a very few that only Colleen or Jamie signed. So let's start with the most important thing that I wanted Colleen Clinkenbeer to sign, and that was Wolf Children. She was the main character Honda, so I'm happy to have that. Now I have uh, Jade Saxon left to get the whole family, if you don't include young Ame and young Nuki. And also I got Jimmy Markey to sign this, because I had an extra autograph for her to sign, so she was a minor character in this, in this movie, so I'm glad to have that. The second thing I got signed by Colleen Clinkenbeard was Black Butler. She was the ADR director for the first eight episodes before Ian Sinclair took over, and she also did the voice of Angel in the show, so I'm glad to have that. And I'll get back to that shortly because I did notice something. So the next thing I got Colleen and Jamie to sign was my copy of Soul Eater. I know, I'm getting so many signatures on this. So I got Colleen Clinkenbeer to sign that, she was Marie. And in the back, I got Jamie Markey to sign that, she was Liz. Now I got both Liz and Patty to sign my copy of Soul Eater. Now going back to Black Butler, I did notice something. If you look very closely at Colleen Clinkenbeard's autograph, look where she signed her signature at. And I, I just noticed this right after the con. Um, she signed this right on Chuck Huber's autograph, and I thought that was very, very hilarious because in Soul Leader, Chuck Huber voiced Stein, and he, some of you may already know about, her, about Stein's relationship with Marie in this show. 
And also, in Black Butler, uh, Conleen signed on Chuck Huber's autograph, and Chuck Huber was Ash in the show. And you probably know about the relation between Ash and Angela in Black Butler. So I thought that was really, really hilarious. I have no idea if Colleen did this on purpose, but yeah, that's what I found out. Now the next thing I got Colleen and Jamie to sign, and this was recommended by, once again, Juan, was School Rumble. I got Colleen Clinkenbeard to sign that, and I also got Jimmy Markey, so I'm, I'm glad they got this sign. So regarding School Rumble, I did watch a few episodes of it, but I gave up after, after about episode 7. And um, uh, Juan was trying to get me back into watching this, so I ended up getting this uh, DVD signed because I, I had to get one more autograph from Colleen and Jamie because I ran out of things. So I'm, I can't wait to watch this again. I'm, I decided to give the show a second chance, so can't wait to watch it. And the last thing I got Jamie Markey to sign was Danganronpa the Animation. This recently got released and I got Jamie Markey to sign this. She was Junko. And, uh, no. And speaking of Danganronpa, I do have one more thing to show you from in this autograph haul. So if you watch any of my previous autograph haul videos, you probably remember this Danganronpa print I got from Anime Iowa from my Anime Iowa and Yomacon videos. So this time I got three new signatures on this print. The first one being Grant George, he was Leon once again. And here's my second autograph from Jessica G. George, she was Sakura. And lastly, I got Jimmy Markey to sign this, she was Junko, and I'm so glad that she left enough space because I'm planning to meet Aaron Fitzgerald next year, so I can't wait for her to sign this. And regarding this print, um, I can't wait to meet more of the Danganronpa cast. I'm going to several different conventions where they're going to be guests at, at that convention, such as Cassandra Lee Morris, Chris Sabig, KG Tang, and even Erica Harlacker. So I can't wait to meet these voice actors to get more signatures on this print. So that about wraps up my entire DaishoCon experience. Thank you guys so much for watching my autograph haul. And my next convention will be Con Alt Delete out in Rosemont. It's going to be my last convention for, 2006, for 2015. So for 2016, I'm planning on going to several new conventions that I haven't been to before, such as Anime Crossroads, ShudoCon, Anime Milwaukee, ColossalCon, and KitsuneCon. So I can't wait to attend those conventions. So other than that, I'll see you at Con Alt Delete. This is Justin, Shine Bright.